moment, though, let's go to Israel. It's recovering from one of the largest cyber attacks it has ever experienced. This, as temperatures drop below freezing, you can see the snow there in Israel. A hack attack at this very point, the coldest day of the year, paralyzing computers, leading to a shutdown of the electrical grid. Could what happened to Israel happen to the power grid in the U.S. and on a much larger, larger scale? If anybody knows, it's this guy. Here in a Fox Business exclusive, the man who was hired by some of the world's largest energy companies to break into their systems, Jonathan Pollitt is also the founder of Red Tiger Security. Good to see you, Jonathan. Right off the bat, uh, we'll get to the who did this in just a moment, but first, how? How did it happen? Sure, yeah. So this was a phishing campaign. Basically, some employees within the Israel's power authority clicked on an email that was linked to malicious software. That malicious software was pulled down onto their corporate machines and immediately started to spread throughout their network with the goal to encrypt its data and render its hard drives uh, useless. Basically, these computers were encrypting all their data and shutting down. And so there was a race to try to limit the spread of this malware and to try to keep their servers and infrastructure up and running. And uh, this was an attack that was uh, on their corporate network. However, this could easily have spread from their corporate network to all the other power in infrastructure within Israel. So this was definitely a very serious breach. Okay. And now to the who. Who done it? Do we know? Uh, we don't have enough information for attribution yet. No one has come forward to, to lay claim. We're However, hearing we this name Black ransomware. Energy. What is Black Energy? What, who are they? Yeah, okay, so Black Energy is a name for the malware uh, okay. because of its capabilities. Now, Black Energy was used in the recent uh, hack against Ukraine, uh, and it actually was allow, allowed some attackers to remotely uh, get access to their power grid and shut down power in Ukraine. That was just less than a month ago. So this is the second attack on electric power wow. systems in the past month. Definitely serious stuff. Uh, especially when you see the snow. It's the coldest day of the year in Israel. There are elderly people who are freezing now, and uh, the Israeli government is rushing around. Speaking of which, the Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu yesterday said this, and this jumped out at me. He warned that the Internet of Everything is, quote, a curse because it can be sabotaged through, through who knows, through, through my little bracelet here that's, that's checking how many steps I'm schlepping around the city. I, I wonder, because everybody's got these in America, here's the ultimate local news question. Could it happen here? Yes, absolutely. Yes, There's, there could be a similar attack against our electric regulators, which are connected through ICCP protocol to all of the various power infrastructure here in the U.S. And he's, he's very true in that statement because every device that has an IP address has over 65,000 communication ports that could be either on or off. And every connected network has 65,535 ports that could be either on or off. And it's just really making sure that every one of those little firewall rules are set up properly and then all you need is one small back door to to basically own everything so it's very difficult to keep these systems secured and it's very easy for a, a motivated attacker to find just one gap in the security and you know when we're going out and doing our work here in the u.s we're finding a lot of uh, cybersecurity vulnerabilities you know these networks are connected to their corporate network and to the internet yeah. it means in ways they shouldn't be there's remote access for their vendors and support contractors to come back oh, into we're these just networks naked through all of this there's yeah. got to be and, and the actual issues Oh, yeah, and, and the actual systems that monitor and control our grid were installed before the Internet. So it's very difficult to manage and patch these systems that are so old. So there's a lot of uh, issues out there that need uh, directed, focused attention, for sure. Frozen through it Fitbit. I mean, who knows? But you've got all the names like Duke Energy, Dominion Resources, Southern. They're paying guys like you to try and find the leaks and the holes, which is great news. Jonathan, you're a smart guy. We really wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Keep